Hello, today we're bringing you more Timu photography slash videography items. First of all, we have this 360 degree motorized churn table. I bought it for £10.68, which isn't terrible. It's not too bad. You can get them obviously for more expensive, but this isn't quite as heavy duty as I would like. But Let's get into what it does offer. So first of all, we have its uh, mini USB input and three buttons to control it. We also have a AAA slot right here. Actually, that might, that's double A, excuse me. A double A slot. And then a lithium ion battery slot right here. Now, it doesn't come with this battery. I had one. Um, I had one that I pulled out from a, a broken Bluetooth speaker, but it's just a, uh, fairly generic lithium ion battery that you can find. I don't remember what the, the word for them is, um, or the, the code or whatever for them, but it's, it's the generic lithium ion battery. Basically they use them in flashlights. They use them in uh, power tool batteries, so they're they're fairly widely available. Can be cheap to get or can be expensive depending on the brand. This one's just a very cheap generic brand. Um, again, I just pulled it from a I just pulled it from a broken Bluetooth speaker. Now, what this is for is for having product on it, like like so. So we can have the so we can have the product rotating for our photography or videography needs. So we can increase the the speed or decrease it. Oh, it looks like that's the lowest setting. The this is the base setting. We can also change direct direction it goes. And then the the ASA changes how much it rotates before it'll go back, like that. So that's a quarter turn. This should be half. It is quite slow. And this will be a three quarters. And then that should be back to the full rotation. So this is good for showcasing products. You may have seen this type of thing on um, like reviews for video games to, to prop games on and act as a lazy Susan that you don't have to uh, constantly be, be pivoting and controlling yourself. You can also use it for more unique uh, photography. So if we turn that off uh sorry if we turn this off we can get in there get in low or get in get in high and get a different get a slightly different angle with the with the mirrored effect or you know if you had a a glass or here we'll use the this slightly dusty lens mug um, so if you wanted to show off, it's the, the, a drink or something where you can have it rotating while having different lights coming in from different directions. Um, one downside to this is it can't hold a lot of weight. Uh, so I would recommend getting something from Amazon because they're only about double the price. Um, it's like 20 to 25 quid and they can carry a lot more weight but if you just want something very light duty this is perfectly fine perfectly fine and does the job quite well so that is the first item which which kind of leads us into our second item so if you have a um 
photographer or videographer in your house, they might want a, a mug that looks like a lens. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you can put it in your lens bag like all your other stuff and still still use it for holding drinks. Now, I wouldn't specifically recommend this one. I think there are better options um, out there. This thing is five pounds and seven P. I would buy one with a, uh, of you know, one of the, the sip holes on front of it. Because if you keep hot drinks in this sealed container, it'll build up pressure. Um, so if you if you have a hot drink in it, make sure to leave the lid off. And unfortunately, once you have once you have the lid off, it doesn't really act as a good coaster, um, you know, because you don't really want to get dirt all over that what you're putting into put into it. Because as you can see, the the thread goes in um, a little bit away, so. Yeah, not not the best one around, but the next product is these quarter inch shoe mounts. So these are for uh, cameras that have uh, a hot shoe or cold shoe on the top. So you can mount this on and then screw it down and then put something that's quarter inch on top of this and, and tighten it up so it won't go anywhere. Honestly, these... <sighs> I don't think I would buy this specific one again, just because it's it's three pound thirty nine, which isn't really all that expensive. But if you look if you look close, you can see there on the threading that it's not the paint isn't isn't fully set, and it, it, I think one of these is slightly leaning a little bit. So that's a lot of money for something that's not like super premium like it is cheaper than other places so you know user discretion but i don't know how often you would buy something like this especially nowadays with the with the multiple shoe adapters to where you can adapt one cold shoe to to add another like three items onto it i i don't like maybe if you have some old stuff that doesn't have a, a cold shoe and that way you can you can adapt it to uh to the shoe from a quarter inch um like if i wanted to if i wanted to mount my you know my ring lights my big ring lights that don't you know they don't have those that mount on it so i could i could mount it through this um but yeah you know, I don't think it's going to have the most usability. And again, I'd probably maybe get something a little bit more expensive than this or um, from somewhere else anyway. Because I, I'm not, I wasn't super impressed by these when I got them. Especially considering the the next item on, on the video. This kit of tripod, quarter inch, three eighths. Um, ad adapters and yep, oh, not that one. That one's not part of it. Um, all this was only nine pounds twenty five p. So it also comes with a a shoe adapter as well. It only comes with one. But I like the quality of this one better. I like the the knurling um, better. I don't like, you know, quarter inch steel can only get so good. Um, but the, you know, this doesn't feel. I think this feels about the same, if if marginally better quality than the uh, than the other one. And of course, you don't have the paint. You have the uh, the three eighths. Uh, to quarter inch reductions. Um, I don't know what those would be uh, on the metric system, I'm afraid. Uh, but you, you have those. And then you've got a quarter inch plug. Um, whatever you'd want to use that for. 
You got more quarter inch to uh, probably three quarters or three eighths. Three eighths. Male to male adapters. You got even more of the uh, you know the quarter to three eighths. You've just got so much here. I, I kind of have them all in together to try to keep them all um, but then again you know again another a quarter to quarter male a uh, quarter to three eighths uh, three eighths to quarter um, females quarter to three eighths male on both ends three eighths to quarter female to male adapter quarter to three eighths female to male adapter you know you have um three eighths to quarter male adapter that's quite long you have a cold shoe this cold shoe sucks um i had to super glue it so it could operate properly um but not you know that's not that big of a deal in my opinion um, especially for the price that all this is, which is significantly cheaper than um, other other places. Uh, so that has a uh, that has a quarter inch adapter on the bottom. Um, the swivel head top is a shoe adapter on the bottom with. A quarter inch threading at the bottom as well and then you also have this this quarter inch thread threaded bottom that I have this uh, 3 8 adapter on it to again give it a, give it a spot it, it's just so much is it the best quality is this stuff the best quality in the world no um, but like I said it, it, it can only get so good right it can only get so good um, this is cheaper than anything I could find on Amazon. In fact, all just about everything um, I found on, on Timu in this regard was, was cheaper than I could find on, on Amazon. So, you know, it's definitely worth, it's definitely worth a look. Um, you know, if, if, if you haven't, if you haven't had a look. For, for some of this stuff just just because there's so there's so many options here that that you can do and uh, and adapt to so I, I I'm, I'm gonna be buying a parts case just for these eventually just so I don't just don't lose everything because there's just so much and it's only nine pounds 25p which is which is I think insane. It, pretty insane. Like I said, these aren't the best, um, but they get the job done. And as long as you're not putting tons and tons of weight on it, which you're not going to do quarter inch adapters anyway, like you, you can probably put, um, probably put a decent amount of more weight on the three eighths adapters. Um, but you know, you're not going to be putting this you know, you're not going to be holding up the world with it, but it's going to do its job. Now, these are the same type of thing. These are specifically designed for uh, mic threads. So, again, very similar to the camera stuff. Um, you have 3 eighths to quarter inch adapters. You have 5 eighths to quarter inch adapters. Now, unfortunately, I do don't think I can recommend this, even though I would be using it if I didn't already have the solutions I need to properly mount um, my my mic here. I, I, like I might add, I might add some sort of spacing uh, from from something else just so it, it it fits a little bit more snug. But I don't need any of these, and the reason I don't really recommend it. Is because even though it offers again everything you need, 
um, five eighths female to three eighths male, three eighths female to five eighths male, five eighths to quarter. So that's five eighths to quarter. It feel they feel really cheap. Like it feels like I could bend this metal if I really wanted to. Um, so this is a three eighths to five eighths adapter, uh, and, and and you might be able to see it in the uh, uh, not really one of these. I think it's this one is a little bent the 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 whole kit up that I have here just to keep it all convenient and on one spot it, it is a little bit bent so I, I'm not entirely sure I can recommend these but again eight pounds 48 eight pound 48 for just about every connector and adapter that you're gonna need for for any mic setup you can have. Again, you're also not going to be putting tons and tons of weight on these. Mics, microphones really don't weigh all that much generally. Um, you know, unless you're doing the, the ones with like the, uh, the built-in uh, sound absorption stuff. It, you know, you're going to be getting nowhere near uh, the weight limits that these things can probably handle. Uh, so while I would probably recommend going elsewhere, uh, if you want quality stuff... If you, if you just need something to get it done uh, for now, and th these will last you for probably a decent amount of time, um, you know, even through a uh, upgrade or two, you know, th this isn't bad at £8.48. Um, so uh, I don't think it's too bad. It is a two, four, six, eight piece set. And of course you can have it and this configuration so it's all in one all in one spot and makes it nice and easy to grab. Next up we have Honestly, I was hoping this was going to be better. This is a four-piece camera lens cleaning pen computer keyboard cleaning tools. Uh so this is just your your generic cleaning tool set. Um, you can get these on Amazon. Again, they're way more expensive. This is £2.49, or at least it was when I bought it on Timu. Um, the the keycap remover. So, my keyboard isn't mechanical um, by, by any means. But, you know, you can... You can use it to get under there and, and pull it. And... It's it's okay, uh, you know. I I personally find it easier, at least on this keyboard, to just pull it by hand, unless it's one of these keys in here, and and then it's, you know, th this this makes it easier for that if you're trying to pull a specific key. Whether or not it would work on on your keyboard as well as it does mine is a different question. The long term. Um, build quality of this probably isn't going to be all that great. Um, of course it comes with your generic lens cloth, uh, which I would recommend only using for lenses. Um, I'm not, you're the ones on your, your glass, your glass lenses either. Like you can use it for glasses, but you know, you're going to need to wash it more often if you do that. And so just keep it for camera lenses. And then you have the, um, your, your ball duster for camera lenses as well. Um, I was kind of using it to, to blow dust off of my keyboard because my keyboard gets a lot of dust on it. It's not the best one I've seen, but the whole kit was only two pound forty nine, so it, it you know it does it, it all does the job. It just does you know how well it does it isn't as good as something that you're going to be spending more money on. But again, this exact same kit is available on Amazon. It is more expensive. And the last thing you get is this um, computer lens. Uh, this this cleaning. Uh, thing 
It's got the, this brush in the back. This brush collects dust like anything. Um, so again, if you're using it to clean computer stuff, keep it away uh, from cameras. I wouldn't necessarily really recommend using brushes on, on camera lenses anyway, but it probably probably wouldn't hurt it, but I, I personally wouldn't. Um, I've been using this to, to brush out my, my keyboard to reasonable success. Then, of course, in the end, you've got two different little uh, triangular, very, very uh, microfiber-ish um, or like spongy material. No, it is like a spongy, very fine sponge material um, for, for lenses and stuff if you got stuff on there. But yeah, honestly... Like, I never really have to clean my lenses, um, my camera lenses, but, you know, so I, I've not tried any of this stuff on it yet, um, so I'll get back to you if it doesn't work all that well, but I imagine it will do an okay job, and like I said, it's it's cheaper than, than Amazon, so it, it's definitely it's definitely an option. Uh, I think it might be a little bit more expensive now. Again, a lot of these was done months ago. Uh, I ordered these months ago. So the next product I have is five in is a portable five in one reflector kit. So this is the smallest one they sell on Timu. It is it was six pound ninety eight at the time I purchased it. Uh, it's got a reflective side. It's got a non reflective side. And then if you open it up, it has a white inside and then a also a white and gold inside. So if you want to flip it around, And use it very awkwardly because it only has a one-sided zip instead of a two-sided. I'm gonna buy a bet. I'm gonna buy a nicer set of these one one day. But the, considering how cheap this was, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with it. It's very small, very compact, uh, which is great for me. You, they do come in bigger sizes on Timu, uh, of course, at more cost, but they're also still cheaper than you, you're gonna get at them somewhere else. And if you don't know what these are for, um, I forgot to turn on my freaking overhead light. What's the point of having it if I forget to turn it on? If you forget what it's for, if you, you can use it to reflect this certain light so you can have certain feel uh, in your uh, cinematography or your, or your photography, uh, for different things, so you could use that to help reflect like a, a, a more golden light or a more a white white light um, Again, I kind of wish kind of wish the zip was was two ways Instead of one but it's not and then if you want a more If you need it to be more, a little bit more absorbed on one side, you can use this to reflect, to absorb some of the light, or use the the silver side to reflect it. You can use the the white as a as a diffuser. So I, I have an overhead light. If I if I put this down, um, it'll it'll diffuse the the light a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I think I think it's pretty cool, uh, and and for seven for seven pounds, again, is it is it the best? No, uh, the the zipper is cheap. It, it only goes in one direction, um, so I'm gonna wind up having to buy nicer ones anyway. But 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 considering considering its size, it's the perfect size that I wanted. Um, I do want need. I do want and need to get a, a bigger sizes in the future, uh, but for now, for what I'm doing right now, the whole mobility it taking up literally like no space at all, 
Um, I'd say it's worth it. I'd say it's a pretty good buy. All right. So lastly, you probably saw in the background, we have this, which is a green screen. It is a foldable studio green screen that goes on the back of the chair. And honestly, I cannot recommend this one. This one specifically from Timu that I purchased for £12 and 75p. I'm going to show you some video as to why I don't recommend it. Uh, as to why that I have some specific problems with it. Um, but basically, it's too shiny. So in order to key out this background is basically impossible. Uh, to do it properly anyway, at least with the lighting setup I have. It is it is, it is, is a decent size, but once you put it on the back of the chair, you lose most of that. Even no matter which direction you, you put it on. Um, I initially put it to where this was, went over the back and, you know, facing the camera. So it would have been this side. And so the, the, the problem with that side is that it just wouldn't sit properly. Um, or it would, it's more difficult to key out. Whereas if you do it this way, it's a little easier to key out, but it leans back in your chair. Um, so it, it doesn't, it doesn't cover as much surface, so you you wind up having to you, you wind up having to focus in so much, uh, just to get it to, just to be able to key it out. Because even though it looks huge, um, for wide angle lenses, uh, it's basically useless. So that's like every webcam, are 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 wide angle lenses. They're not like super wide, but my my. Anchor is a wide angle. The the Logitech is a wide angle. Uh, you know, you've got to be so close up and, and in shot. Like, I'll try to key this out. And, like, yeah, I know this isn't exactly ideal lighting, so it probably won't work all that well. But even with more ideal lighting, I, I, was, I was struggling so much to get this keyed out. I, I just can't. I, I can't recommend it because I was like, <clears throat> I was like, well, worst case scenario, I can't use it on my chair. I've got this big, huge green thing that I can hold up uh, to key out certain things in, in a shot. It won't even work for that. It, it is literally better. And I'll, and I'll show you that as well. It is literally better. It, at least it looks better to me. If you digitally remove the background, either through OBS, directly in OBS, which honestly leaves some nasty nasty blurrings and haloings and stuff that you wouldn't get if you properly was able to key it out. Or you, you use a software to do it. Um, CapCut does an amazing job. Uh, Muvavi, which is who I, I use typically. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to be switching soon, but it's who I've used historically. So the, the two latest versions of Movavi have it. So that's 2023 and 2024, but I'm really losing favor with Movavi. Um, it, it just seems to be aging, but yeah, honestly, I can't recommend it even though it's only 12 pounds 75 for it, it, it's literally junk. It's literally junk. It's too shiny. Um, so so you can't get a proper key. Oh, no, no, no. I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot. Arguably the best buy I have made from Timu. So we'll, we'll hop in to the overhead. So it comes with a case, a, a fabric case, so basically useless, uh, but it is it is there. We have a, 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 
a, a cold shoe or a hot shoe mountable microphone. And I tell you what, even though I was having difficulty getting this to work properly because of these cables, because one of these cables is wired wrong, this microphone is actually pretty good. Uh, we're going to play some audio for you using this microphone. Uh, it's not going to probably not going to be the cleanest, but there's no post processing done to it. It is what the microphone sounds like. So I'm going to play that for you now. All right. This is a test of the 13 pound 50 some odd P um, Timu microphone. That's impossible. It is what it is. Don't know what it sounds like because apparently one of the cables it came with was dead. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to need another one. So what do you get with this kit? So you get the microphone with a cold shoe mount that's got a shock absorber. Amazon sells the same thing, literally the same thing, for well, like, probably nearly double the price. Um, this, this is the cheapest one you can find. The It comes with a Type-C to uh, three three and a half mil adapter. Don't know how well that works because I don't touch that. I, I use audio jacks. Uh, I, I'm old fashioned. Now that my new, new phone uh, that I plan on getting won't have one. So I might have to use it then, but I can just plug it into my regular camera that I would actually be using it with. So um, yeah, got a quarter inch adapter on the bottom. Um, it comes with this uh, extendable wire. Now, the thing with this is that this doesn't work with mobile devices. This this specific one, which bugged me. Um, so this specific one won't work with mobile devices. It also doesn't work with my camera either. Uh, so this 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 was the problem. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's the wire itself, or because the 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 connections on the end are both the same. Uh, whereas like this one are, this one is different uh, because this goes into the camera. I and excuse me, this one goes into the microphone. This one goes into your phone, which adds a uh, another layer into it. Where so this one theoretically should be able to work on on cameras uh like dslrs or whatever but it, it didn't it, it didn't at least it didn't for me so i wound up buying a a separate one for just specifically for this uh so i could still have the uh still have the flexibility if i want not as much as as this would have given me but uh, this this cable by itself nearly cost me the same amount as uh, as this microphone. I believe this was this 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 cable cost me about nine pound fifty p on Amazon. So fairly impressive. I mean, again, decent quality comes with your uh, your dead cat or a windsock with uh, with actually has some foam in it as well. So very well insulated. Uh, windsock for an astounding 15 pound 48 if this had worked it would have been absolutely perfect but this does work and you know it, it, it would work for everything I want it for but I just I just wanted to have a little bit of more flexibility um, if I if I needed it so but on its own even with the with my defective one or I don't know if it's defective or if it's just not designed for what I'm using it for. I think that's a killer deal. It may be the best microphone deal you can find. Um, but anyway, that is the last one for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry about the wait. Um, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye.